Hey everybody, so this is our last art project of the year. I'm going to be showing you how to draw a St. Odelia Knight. Along with this, you're also going to get a list of summer art challenges that you can work on over the summer to keep your creative juices flowing. And feel free to post pictures of anything you're making onto Artsonia, or you can even email me. I check those things throughout the summer. I look forward to seeing your creations. So grab something to draw with and we will get started with our St. Odelia Knight. So you're going to need some paper and a pencil and then some markers. I'm going to start drawing in pencil. We're going to start with the knight's head. It's going to be wearing a coat of armor. We're not going to see any skin. It's all armor. So first we're starting off with the helmet. I'm going to be near the top of my paper but I want to leave some space up here. So there's actually going to be a giant feather that sticks out the top of the knight's helmet. So I'm drawing my head right in this area. I start out with two curved lines that look like parentheses and then I'm going to draw two lines that go up to a point in the middle and then the bottom line to connect that is going to be kind of a straight line. Then for the top of our head we're just going to make a curved line connecting those two sides and same with the bottom. So there we have our basic shape of our helmet. Now in this middle piece we're going to draw in the middle a long oval and on each side I'm going to draw three other ovals that get smaller as they go towards the edge. Now for the top of the helmet, usually knights have some sort of feather sticking out of the top so I'm going to put a little connecting piece and then I'm going to draw a curved line that comes out one way and then zigzag lines to the edge of that curve on one half of it and on the other half I'm doing the same thing. Now we'll move down to the neck. So the neck's going to kind of flare out like a normal human neck would, but it's still covered in armor, so we're gonna add a few layers of that, and then we're gonna draw the body. So first I'm gonna have this line come out a little bit more, make a curve to where our shoulders will go. Do the same thing on that side, have, it, have this line come out a little bit more, draw a curved line for where the shoulder piece will go, and then two curved lines that come down towards the middle and connect those. Now my shoulders are going to have their own pieces of armor, and then each part of the arm is going to have its own piece of armor. In this arm, we're going to have sticking out a little bit because it's going to be holding a sword. So I have the next part of the arm kind of an oval shape coming down, and then we have the elbow joint that has its own piece of armor, and then the next part of the arm is going to come up this way, and we're not going to draw the hand yet because we're going to have a sword there and it's going to cover the hand. So we'll draw the other arm, and that arm actually is going to have a shield, but we'll draw that part coming down, the elbow joint, and then we will stop there. We're going to draw a shield that comes right up to that elbow joint. So the shield starts out as a straight line at the top and then there's two curved lines that come down to a point. Now on this side we are drawing a sword. So we're going to draw the bottom part of the sword that is meant to protect your hand. A half circle shape. It can go next to that part of the arm and then it's going to have a rectangle shape coming out the bottom of it and the top is going to be the blade of the sword. And then we'll draw the hand of the knight kind of underneath it. Okay, now for the rest of the knight's body. Continuing over here at the hips, we're gonna have some armor that comes down like that on both sides, layers up to the top, kind of like petals on a flower, and then you have a petal in the middle. Now the legs are gonna come down, and just like the arms, for each part of the leg, it has its own piece of armor. So we have the legs coming down, do both at the same time. Kind of drawing straight lines, but they're a little bit curved. And then we have the knee. We're just gonna do a circle for the knee. And then the bottom part of the legs come down. Almost straight lines, but they're like a little bit curved. And then we have the feet. And for the feet, this is going to be a backwards L for this foot. And an L for that foot, for the ankles, for the heels. And then drawing a line right there where the top of the shoe would be and then for the front of the foot the shoe is going to come out like that curve to a point bring it back over and then have it come back up to that top curve so we'll do that on this side so it's going to curve out to a point come back in and curve back up so there we have the basic drawing of our knight now we're going to add some details that will really make it look like a saint odelian knight so in the middle here, we're going to draw the St. Odelia cross. To do that, start out with two horizontal lines that are equal lengths. And this is how tall my cross is going to be. So wherever you draw those, it could be as big or small as you want it to be. But you're going to then 
connect this top line with a curve that comes all the way down and meets the bottom one at the edge. Now you're doing the same thing on the other side. You're taking that top corner, drawing a curved line, and bringing it back down to that bottom line. Now it gets pretty skinny towards the middle, but be careful that they don't touch. And you're doing that same thing again, but the other way. So there we have our St. Odelia cross in the middle of our knight's armor. I'm also going to draw a small cross on the shield. Before I color, I'm actually going to add some areas that are going to be highlights on my armor. We want it to look like it's shiny because usually in armor, the light reflects off of it because it's made out of metal. So we're going to add some areas that are going to be highlighted and we're just going to say that the light is going to hit this side of the body. So on this side of the head, I'm just going to draw a teardrop kind of shape and then a line coming down on that face shield and then another oval shape on the bottom part of the head. On the neck, same thing. I'm just going to draw some straight lines down on this side of the shield. Just some oval shapes. Same with on the hip. And then the leg, knee, leg, and then the shoe. And we can do some of that on the arm over here too. Maybe on the sword. Those shapes that you just drew, those are going to stay white so that it can look like it's shiny. So now it's time to color. So I have some markers here. You can use colored pencils, crayons, oil pastels, paint. Um, but the colors that I have are light gray, dark gray, brown, black, and red. So I'm going to start by just coloring all of the armor, just this one lighter gray color. And I'm going to color in just the armor, not the highlights. Next, I'm going to do some shading with this darker gray, and on the other side of these highlights on the side of the body, I'm going to do some more darker shadows and also color in this part of the sword. I'm going to use my brown for the bottom part of the sword here, and for my shield. So there I have my St. Odelia Knight. I hope you guys have fun with this and have a great summer. Bye.